So in this session, we'll be detailing you about euglena structure. Euglena is one among the very important members of euglenoid group. It is photosynthetic protist and apart from photosynthetic protist, they also behave like saprophytes. So they have the mixotrophic mode of nutrition. Now, when I've told you that you don't have cell wall in euglena members, euglenoid members, so you will have this particular elastic layer, which is called pellicle. You have this particular flagella, but I've told you there are two flagella. So this flagella, it's long and mobile. So this particular flagella, it's mobile. Apart from that, on this flagella, you will also see something, some ornamentation on this particular flagella. And because of this particular uh, ornamentation, this particular, uh, what you call flagella, it's called stichonomatic flagella. Stichonomatic means some ornamentation. But there is another flagella, if you can look. And because of that, they follow heterocon flagellation. Both of the flagella are different. The other flagella, the small flagella, doesn't play any role in motility. When you talk about, there is a reservoir. Reservoir is for storage of nutrients. If you can look forward, they have this particular reservoir where, you know, they can store up the food. And store up of the food uh, is in the form of paramylum or fats. They have a stigma. Stigma is present, which will detect the light. It's a light sensitive spot. It detects the light. It has a presence of extraxanthin pigment. When you talk about, they also have contractile vacuole. If you can look, this is the contractile vacuole present in the body, which expel excess water into the reservoir or else the cell will bust. So it is basically maintaining the osmoregulation. It is doing the osmoregulation. Otherwise, the cell will bust. When you talk about the nucleus, if you can look forward for the nucleus of euglenoid members, there is a central organelle which contains DNA, they will have DNA and what you call it controls the cell activity contained within the nucleolus. So they also have nucleolus and other sort of organelles. In next session, we'll be detailing you about the fourth protista member which is slime mold.